up. Well, folks, we like to say a pleasant good morning. Wherever you're watching from, we're coming to you live from the Barclay Training Center, the BTC Barracks here in Monrovia, uh, where today Liberia celebrates um, Sister Armed Forces Day. Uh, but information coming in says uh, the program has been cancelled. Uh, what reason well we do that but what we're trying to understand is that the AFL women are still uh, protesting they continue their protestation uh, we receive reports that the women are right now at one man's bridge where they are protesting and their protestation is uh, as a result of their constant call for uh, former Major General Prince C. Johnson of the Armed Forces of Liberia and he was nominated uh, as Minister of Defense and subsequently confirmed by the Liberian Senate. But prior to the confirmation, the uh, AFL wives had had series of protests being carried out uh, they have been protesting along the Rabas International Airport Highway or the RIA Highway, so to speak. And they have been protesting that they do not want Major General Prince C. Johnson retired. They do not want him confirmed. They do not want him as Minister of Defense. According to them, General Prince Johnson uh, has been. Uh, involved into allegedly taking monies from uh, AFL soldiers who went on mission in Mali and some of them who are assigned in King George Cape Mount at the B Mountain Mining Corporation or company so for several reasons according to them monies that were allotted to the AFL those who went on mission were taken away by uh, allegedly taken away by General Prince Johnson. So for those reasons, Prince Johnson shouldn't be confirmed. But the senators went ahead on Friday and confirmed General Johnson and his deputy ahead of today's program. But the saddest thing is that the program uh, has been cancelled. So we are just here at the Ministry of National Defense here, Liberia 67 uh, Armed Forces Day celebration. And currently, the AFL wives are at uh, One Man's Bridge. We've received reports that they are carrying on their protest there. So we just start to bring you uh, this coverage here. From here, we'll be making our way to One Man's Bridge. Vehicles are leaving the compounds now of the AFL, the, 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 the BTC barracks. So, as it is, you see, even fire service and other security apparatus, the Armed Forces of Liberia, Liberia National Police, the immigration, they are all leaving now. Uh, the grounds of the BTC barracks here. So they are leaving, and it is raising concern now as Liberians are all wondering why this should be happening at this time. Why is it that under President Joseph Wakai, his first uh, Armed Forces Day 2024, first of its kind for this to happen. And this is happening on Liberia's 
newly elected president Joseph Yuma Buaka a has uh, caused a uh, raise eyebrows now as Liberians are all concerned about this day, the 67th day of the armed forces of Liberia. Today, at about this time, in fact, the president, Joseph Waka, should the army and the entire, all other scary apparatus should have been done with uh, their jails, you know, the activities surrounding the armed forces day. But it is the opposite. And the army are just standing, some of them are wondering, the DEA all here, they are all wondering as uh, so what may have been the cause, what is happening. Well, this is Liberia. You see, uh, but this is Liberia, and but the saddest thing is this, like I said, what is going on with Liberia? Every time there is another news about Liberia, important news, news that break and that call the attention of other and of course we were here when former president Ellen Johnson Sullivan just left Liberia, I mean or the BTC virus. She came for the program unfortunately she had to leave. Uh, we saw her come for or her vehicle, official vehicle leaving the we saw official vehicle leaving the barracks. But we've, uh, on last night we saw a, re uh, a release from the executive mansion page uh, that uh, President Joseph Newman Buaka will, the program will be shot uh, according to the release that President Buaka will be at the EBK barracks, the Edward B.M. Kessidy barracks on Shuffling Highway. So the program has been cancelled, folks. But we will make our way now to Burma. We we'll just start to bring you this short, short uh, one here. We will make our way. We will make our way. Uh, Reach online TV. So that's it. The AFL wives are saying they do not want Major General Prince Johnson. And so their protest continues. They are now at Bomber's Bridge. But the Senate confirmed General Johnson as Defense Minister. Anna Joseph Wakai. What does it mean? The wives are calling. They've been calling, calling, but well, this is Liberia, folks. So we will make our way now to Bowman's Bridge and then we'll return there with our live coverage. We'll continue there, that is, so to speak, with our live coverage. My name is, but we're still here, folks. This is it. So thank you for watching Channel Liberia Bridge Online Television. Uh, always stay with us as we bring you breaking news and other important news surrounding Liberia and, and of course uh, other parts of the globe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Still with us, we will be at Bungma Bridge very shortly.